Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk about the turtle banner. Um, heard a lot of talk about it recently and heard it's pretty OP and I look forward to testing it out. So here we go. Uh, shell Shock's first skill, lob magical tur turtle shell at a location. On impact, grant nearby allies protection and applies weakness to enemies. Uh, this is pretty much your auto attack. Uh, you can just spam it as you see here. Uh, it's not that OP, considering that it only affects 10 allies and 10 enemies, and you can't really stack up like protection with it, or you can't like spam that much weakness. I mean, you can get a little protection if you spammed it forever, but it's definitely not ideal. Yeah, it doesn't do that much damage either. Uh, the second skill is pretty much an unlimited water field. Uh, it creates bubble that heals allies and protects them from projectiles. Uh, second and a half cast time, eight second recharge, it lasts for eight seconds, it's a water field. Uh, it looks like this. So now that's a water field. Anytime you blast in there, you're getting heals. Uh, you're gonna see as soon as it ends, uh, pretty much recharges up, so I can just cast it again. Of course with Mesmer's, we're gonna have Alacrity to allow that to probably be uh, somewhat unlimited. Yeah, so before it even ends, I'm casting it again, so very nice feature of being a Mesmer. And so, skill number three, uh, grant damage immunity to allies, saved by the shell. You take no damage from incoming attacks. You are still susceptible to conditions and control effects, uh, up to 10 targets. So this is pretty good. Uh, vulnerability from damage. Every 15 seconds, you get four seconds of it. It's pretty good. Number of targets, 10, radius 600. Uh, radius 600, like, what, out to there, I guess. Half of this, so like, up to there. Yeah, so that's skill number three. Uh, one second cast time. Uh, skill four, place a wall that grants resistance to allies and slow to enemies to pass through it. Now this is nice, because it reminds me of a veil. Um, I have no boon duration on, but of course, you know, I can get up to 100% and make that six seconds of slow or six seconds of resistance. I think that would do quite the damage to a Zerg. Uh, and it's got a 1200 range, which really nice. Uh, 1200 range is really sweet in a wall. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Vale, yeah, it just has a 900 range, so it's a lot further than I'm used to. If you're following a Zerg, you could easily get that in front of them. Uh, resistance, uh, duration is 10 seconds of the field. Um, yeah, it recharges every 30 seconds. Pretty sweet. Now, my favorite one. This thing is incredibly overpowered. So, this is called Bombshell, the fist skill. Uh, plant the banner in the ground with such force that you knock down enemies and grant stability and protection to allies. So that's 10 stacks of stability for 20 seconds. And a stack of protection for 20 seconds. I'm not even considering the knockdown, just that part in itself is insane. Um, oh, by the way, the wall looks like this. I probably should have showed it to you guys. So you know what it looks like. If you see that wall, avoid it. You're going to get um, slow unless... Um, your team has it. Yeah. So yeah, uh, fifth skill. Um, so yeah, it's pretty overpowered. Um, I'm gonna cast it away from, I'll cast it right on him. I'm also gonna continue to split it. So this guy goes up in the air, you cast a continuum split, and you should nail it. Um, yeah, so here we go. I got 20 seconds of stability. I've also got 20 seconds of protection. I got 10 stacks of that stability. Uh, one thing I thought was really overpowered with this is if you put on your boon duration gear, uh, this is just armor with uh, rune of water to give me 20%. And um, yeah, with water rune, and this is all platinum with blooms, and this food here is 20%. So that should give me up to 60% real quick. Yep. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to cast it and instead of getting those, uh, you can see it's 32 seconds now. So yeah, um, I don't see how many targets it could affect. It's got a range of a thousand. That's kind of insane. But if I did cast it and, you know, it hit myself, of course, and then I can just run around and be like, hey, here's Signet of Inspiration for you. You guys get it. Jump over here. Here's Signet of Inspiration for you. Now you guys have it. All right. Now everybody go in with 25 stacks of, or 25 seconds of 10 stacks of stability and 30 seconds of protection. Uh, wow, that's that's hard to take in. That seems really, really, really overpowered. Now, tell me what you think, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.